This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Walter, my back here with another episode of The World Is Ended. Yeah, I know, that's kind of... I wouldn't say it's English, but it's definitely it's definitely like, what? The world is ended? What does that even mean? Anyway, in the last episode, we started this tale and didn't get very far because, uh, you know, waiting for the Japanese dialogue to go and then me talking makes that last a little bit longer. But we found out we're some kid wearing some virtual headset goggles or something like that, and then some hot girl decided to pour water down our back, or not water, sorry, uh, uh, ice, or shaved ice, which now we're filled with water, contempt, sadness, and maple syrup. Uh, so we're just started now. So I've decided I think I'm going to make an executive decision to talk over the Japanese voice acting in this game because that'll, the game will take like forever if I do that. Um, of course, the other thing I could do is just autoplay it and just comment while it's autoplaying it. So I don't know how I really want to do this. I, I thought about auto comment uh, commenting when they talk, but I don't know. Some people might just want to listen to it and not actually watch the video. It's like me. I hardly ever watch YouTube videos anymore uh, unless it's like something specific. Usually I just have it in the background. So, uh, but yeah, I'm just going to talk over them. Um, way I'm probably going to do that is just turn down the voices. I didn't want to turn it down too far just in case there was like some humorous let the voice actor do something humorous or something like that during it, so I don't want to hear it. So, yeah, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Uh, this will definitely not be a perfect walkthrough because all the other visual novels I did had like minor um, voice acting, or if it did, it, I could just skip it because it was like at the end or only bits and pieces. Like when I did that samurai game or whatever it was, uh, uh, Shinzengumi or whatever it was, uh, there was like. I don't think there was any voice acting. If it was, it was like at the very end. And the Tokyo Ghoul Hunters or whatever, not Tokyo Ghoul, the Tokyo Ghost Hunters, that only had dialogue in very specific parts. So they just make a quick comment. So anyway, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to, I just said that just to kind of get on. So we'll actually get to the, a decent amount of the plot today. So, well, a decent amount of the plot. Like, like we don't even know what the plot is at this point. Okay, I understand that it's inescapable. It's hot both outside and in the office. No, it's not an office. It's the Judgment 7 Frontline Base. How many times do I have to tell you that? Yeah, sure it is. You'd make it way easier to call it a base if you fix the air conditioning. Then again, it's summer, and so I guess hot is normal. It's better than a cold summer anyway. I mean, shaved ice isn't tasty when it's cold. There you have it, Reggie Now, since you got your consciousness back, let's start the more serious experiments. Okay, I'll try not to collapse. Mm, serious experiments? Time to get serious? Super, super serious punches or whatever? Or consecutive normal punches. Right on, Reggie I'll help you out with this. Fan! Hooray! Hooray! Reggie Coon! Woo! Could you keep doing that, uh, Yuna? Just, just stand here cheering on for me. You know, uh, uh, did you forget to wear your bra today? Uh, uh, no, no, just curious, just curious. <laughs> Unison sure is lively. She's vi vigorously fanning me with a cheap looking fan made a faint wind go to, in, into my direction. Hmm, amongst other things. It doesn't make me the least bit cooler, though. In fact, all she does is attract the negative attention of the passerbyers here in Os 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 <coughs> Osakusa? Os Osakusa? I know there's a word to, way to pronounce it, pronounce it, but you know Japanese is not my first language. In fact, I only know a handful of Japanese words. It makes me feel seriously uncool. One well, of the fact she's probably heating you up by other means, if you know what I mean. I mean, we're in Asakusa Roku, not too far from the, the Sensoji Temple, and it's Shopping Street, making this an area popular with tourists and the like. So you got crazy Americans here and French, or who is the biggest uh, tourist in Japan? I mean, I assume it's probably, like, since Japan's kind of in that area, probably more Americans than anything, but I assume a little bit of European countries as well. But then again, I've never been to Japan, so I don't know what it's like. A weirdo with a full helm and a high school girl in a sailor uniform fanning him would seem like some new street performance or some act to attract new customers. Not from what I've seen in Japan. I would think that would just be every day. Nah, if you actually watch actual, like, footage of people walking around Japan and stuff like that, most of it's pretty, like... Well, I don't know if I'd say normal, especially with, like, depending on if you see the businessman going to work in the morning, at least some pictures of them. It looks like they're, like, sardines stuck in a can, and, and they're, like, automated trying to go to the workplace. It's almost kind of depressing. That's why I've heard it's kind of a, well, I don't know if I'm going to go into due details, but I've heard suicide rates are 
gone up in older men because it's it's basically just work in, work out every day, every day for, for years and years and for what? Just a loyalty to a company that probably the higher ups don't even have the same loyalty to you. Ugh, I don't even want to live like that. The tourists misunderstand the situation, pull out their phones and take photos of us. Unison responds to kind of making the peace sign and probably making some teenager, if there's a teenager tourist dreams come true. Yay, Yay we're at Judgment 7! Yep, the game knows what it's doing. She energetically waves her hands, hand at the make and her absolutely large bus stuck in her uniform sh shake. Hmm, yep, this game knows what it's doing. And the fact that our main character is probably teenage boy who probably can't help it. I mean, I would notice that, but I wouldn't really put too much effort in it. I'm like, oh, huh. Yeah, but I'm older than that guy is. So at some point you've seen the boobage. At some point you're like, okay. That alone causes a stir in the audience. Those are J7's ultimate weaponized memories for you. Their destructive power can be felt worldwide, as evident by all the impressed foreign tourists. Ridicule, I'm monitoring you. <laughs> what you see, you know. Not tired of looking her breasts yet? Ooh, way to, get, way, to get, way to point that out. That way out to point out his perviness. I'm not looking at them. Uh, anyway, we seriously stand out here, so just start the experiments already. And he's like, dude, caught your pervin. <laughs> Very well. Let's start the New World Goggles feature and inspection experiment. W-O-R-L-D. Program standby. Although as soon as I find out what this guy's actual picture looks like, I'll probably change my voicing of him. I hear him work his keyboard and press the enter key over the receiver. I'll also be talking through uh, sound effects and stuff like that too. Awari-san said that he's particularly proud of the WORLD program. Apparently it's a program that combines real scenario with virtual data, and these new world goggles were made specifically for it. The camera installed on the front vent sends visual data to the smartphone installed inside the helm, though there are slight issues with the slight sense of distance. It's a decent view, especially with the memories earlier. There's orange text flickering in the corner. Gross. World system standby. Looks like the program's waiting for some new input. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. The program is ready and wait and take it. Now you just get up, it up and running with the voice command. Voice command. Isn't that a bit of waste of time? Can't you just activate it from your end? <laughs> oh boy, you really don't get the spirit of things like this, do you? Programs on full helm devices like this are supposed to be activated with voice commands. It's an unwritten rule. It's just how it has to be. Okay, well if you say so. Honestly, I don't completely believe that. That's why my response is vague. And what am I supposed to say? Raymond Lemon Ding Dong, Shing Shing Boo, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Change the world. That's the line that initiates the world program. Go now. Shout it. Wow, that's stupid. Sounds like some hippie program or something like that. That's even more embarrassing than expected. Saying those words in a place of so many foreign tourists sounds like a serious, unfortunate dare to a truth or dare game. Go, Rage-Coon! Shout! Is she hearing what he's saying, too? To, or is it... Unison, Unison nonchalantly encourages me like it's none of her business. Then again, she'd probably do it without hesitation if she was in my shoes. I mean, she's the very definition of airhead. Well, uh, gotta enjoy the airheads. They let you see more than you expect. I, on the other hand, have the picture of a common lower middle class boy. So, I am the, I am the model of a minor major general. Something, something, something. I can't do the whole words because I can't move my mouth that fast. Or I'm, I'm the very modern major sci uh, Solarian scientist. Man, whatever. Ch ch change the world. Hey, now, you're being too quiet. It sounds like you're hesitating. Come on, unleash yourself and shout it loud from the very depths of your lungs. Or you could just increase the mic sensitivity. Oh, well, whatever. I'll just do it. Change the world. Okay. Yeah, the voice actor for Reiji, or the main character, does sound pretty kind of a uh, um, young teenager nerdy. At least that's what I'm getting out of it. A filter is applied over my vision, displaying various info. Whoa. I know Kung Fu. I unwittingly mouth that single word. This is actually kind of cool. What the? Who's that? It's like a person with a bear face or something. I bid you welcome to the new world, Rage Coon. 
A communication window was opens up to the edge of my vision and displays a wari -san. As absurd as the gear itself looks, I can't deny that I'm somewhat excited about this. Kind of reminds me of the idea of Google Glasses, which didn't last for very long. It was too expensive for what it did. Although, funny enough, probably someone will perfect it later and everyone will love it. And the first people to make it come up with it were like, dang it. Confirm the initial issue of the world program. Let's start by experimenting to see if the voice commands work properly. Now, Rage Coon, breathe in and shout. Menu, please. It probably won't recognize my voice if I speak the command normally, so just go ahead and get straight to shouting. Menu, please. He said that in English. What is up with some of the Japanese... Like, a lot of Japanese visual novels will do that, which I know there's a Japanese word for those, yet randomly they'll just say words in English. It's it's like... Is it kind of like us, how we've, uh, we've randomly started putting other languages and their words in our lexicon, and we just kind of say it normally? Is that is that kind of how it is? Hmm. I mean, even Japanese pop songs will do, like... Will like, be all Japanese, except for, like, three or four words will be randomly in English, and you're like, okay... I assume they do that because it flows with the song. Maybe that word specifically works with it, but I don't know. It's just always odd to me. And so a new menu appears at the side of my vision. All right, looks like it's open. Now let's move the cursor. With voice commands, of course. Uh, okay. Well, not like I expected anything else. And uh, what should I say? Just up or down or stuff. Move the cursor to the top right, then bring it to the bottom right. I do as I'm told and try moving the cursor. Uh, uh, up! Right! Uh, no, not up, right. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Be a Stark. Nami code. This isn't working. It's not listening to me at all. Hey, Wari san, this is seriously hard. It totally hard. Well, of course it is. I originally designed it to be moved by brainwave sensors installed in the goggles. He responds with a carefree tone. Oh, I would have loved to do this experiment after that cool sounding function was implemented. After a while of struggling, I eventually did what Awari-san told me to. <laughs> Good. Well done. Now shout, ah, right there. That's the spot. Mm, I see. What's that supposed to be? It's a voice command to confirm selection. By the way, the command to, to cancel is, N -n no, not there. Wow. Can we call me the pervert? Of all the lines you could have picked, why did you set those as the commands? I swear that you sound really weird. He replies to me as if whatever he's done here is only obvious. It's for the girls who put on the New World goggles, of course. Imagine a girl not used to the controls speaking those voice commands. The picture alone is like three whole meals for me. Wow. Oh boy, that's, that's awkward. Oh yeah, how could I forget? The man has a huge perf. Well, there you go. Honestly, your voice doesn't do it for me whatsoever, but it's an experiment. Important stuff. Shout it with a passion, intensity, and emotion. All right, I give up. I'll just say the lines I'm told to. Ah, right there. That's a spot. Okay, I was going to let the game have a voice. Well, I don't know if you heard all of it, depending on how the uh, audio works, but... Uh, no, not there. <laughs> okay. That was a... He didn't really try with that line. I probably test out the confirm and cancel commands. We continue this for four, many more voice commands, and I end up shouting even more really weird lines over and over and over and over and over and over. Oh, sorry. Again. We were already being treated as weirdos, and this only serves to make it worse. I just wanted to crawl into a hole somewhere. Give me a shovel, and I'll dig one for myself. <laughs> Look at you, Rage Coon. You really went and unleashed yourself. Uh, uh, well, never mind. I was going to say something else. Let's leave the voice command experiments at that. Cool. Those words make me feel like I was just grazed by the angel of salvation. Thank you. Why the gratitude? Oh, <laughs> no, it's nothing. What's well, the next experiment? Well, let's try to crawl on the ground. What? Huh? He. <laughs> He just thought that up. He's clearly just having fun with messing with me now. There's just no way he isn't. Even so, as a mere part-time worker, I can't really go against his words. Are you part-time working for him? Well, that's uh, Isn't that kind of harassment what he's making you do? Anyway, I crawl, but a waris on some absurdities. I mean, experiments don't end there. I couldn't do a handstand, but I still had to walk backwards, even on all fours, like the crab walk. Even the weird voice commands I hoped were over actually came back, and I ended up shouting even more of them. 
I'd hate to be this kid in the middle of a street. Probably is probably what he, his picture is all over the web by now, and YouTube or whatever else, or whatever Japan has if they have their own. I think they do. I think it's like Neko TV or something. Like that. Some people laughed at me. And some found me a nuisance. Some saw me as a menace worthy of reporting to the police. I even bumped into a scary man and almost got taken to a place just as frightening. Here, let me give Rico. Rik Rico's gonna give us a big old hug. No. Even so, we did all of Awari san's irresponsible requests. No matter how much of an affront to human rights they were, needless to say, it was hellish. <laughs> Excellent, you're working hard. Guess that's used for you. How old are you, dude? Uh, the thanks. Honestly, his praise doesn't make me all that happy. Wait, what meaning did all these experiments even have? Good job, Rage Coon. Uh, thank you very much, Yuna-san. Now this, this makes me happy on the dazzling shine of a genuine high school girl smile. Well, even at my age, I'd probably appreciate that too. Uh, Alright, take a little break, then we'll move on to the other half of the experiments. Wait a second. Unable to bear it, I talk back ag against him. It's rare for me to go against Awari-san's proposals. Can't we leave it at that today? Come on, Awari-san, it's done. It's a war or something. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. My joke has no effect. Well, not like I'm unaware that it was absolutely awful. Oh yeah, the a lot of ja the Japanese are really big fans of puns. We. I'll be honest, I'm out of arrogant and willpower. Please spare me. <laughs> Ridgecoon, my boy, do you really believe I won't reward you for all your hard work here? R reward? <laughs> Get a load of this. Feel your fatigue get blown away. X mode initiates. What the? X mode? That never sounds good. You know what's involved with that. Hmm? Of course. Uh, of course. Well, actually, that could be... He could have just turned on Teenager Boy Goggles. What was that joke in... Uh, what was that joke in... Uh, uh, um, oh, what's, what was that movie again with the... Uh, dang, I can't remember the movie. It's when all the all the uh, emotions have actually have like personalities. And at the end of it, during during like a... During end credits. Like the main... Like a, a, this one of the side characters sees the female main character. And she talks to him. He's, her, her, his head almost explodes. With like, oh god, it's a girl! Ah! Okay, maybe not quite like that, but yeah, we got a hmm, got boobage all over the. Well, not quite boobage everywhere. It looks like we see some uh, rear end, if you know what I mean. Suddenly, the scenery of the town changes severely. The walls, the past surface all over are replaced with sexy pictures. Wouldn't that heat him up more than cool him down? Whoa, a Wari son. I'm using the world program to modify the scenery you're seeing in real time and instantly showing you the results. But good thing he's not to some really deep, dark adult stuff, if you know what I mean. I've heard of what augmented reality goggles were capable of doing, but experiencing for myself changes everything. <laughs> that's not where, you're, where it ends. Now open your eyes and look at you now. Uh oh, that's not good. What? No way. Wait, I'm a perv like him could actually... With hope and excitement in my heart, I turn to face you, Nissan. We're supposed to, we're supposed to feel for this kid, or we're supposed to root for this guy. Well, at least that's tamer than I expected. Yeah, for some reason, like, don't question how I know this, but apparently, uh, female swimsuits are really popular. If you know what I mean. I mean, they're popular in America too, but I mean, they're onesies. Yet they're really popular. I guess. You know. Not gonna go into any detail, folks. You don't want to know about that type of stuff. Yo! Unison comes to my vision, modified the same way as the billboards and all that. However, the power here is incomparable to anything around us. I mean, Unison's wearing a swimsuit. Not just a swimsuit, a school swimsuit. That's a Warison for you. He is a true man of culture. <laughs> this is the true form of the program of the century. World. Well, wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, uh, it, it realizes, my tone makes me sound delirious. I'm so overwhelmed I sound like I have some weird accent, or some accent, weird. Hey, uh, hey, hey, what's so wonderful? I want to see it too. What would she, well, obviously she'd have to look at herself to see the outfit, but. Unison brings her face close to mine, which naturally brings her memory weapons right before my eyes. 
I can't help but focus my sight exclusively on them. Teenager mode activated. I am so glad to be alive. <laughs> Whoa, man. Did I, I, did I do a good job? The, the lewdness of it. Regicoon, bring your face closer. Oh, that's not creepy. I suddenly hear a cladding sound at the other end of the receiver, which instantly brings me back to my senses. I guess he has a camera in there or something. Oh, a Wari son. You're taking screenshots, aren't you? You can't. You'll violate a rights to her likeness. Oh, yeah. I think in Japan there is a. Oops, sorry. I think in Japan there are some laws about if you take, like, a person's picture without their without their permission or something like that, like, you could actually get in, like, major legal trouble, um, from what I understand. I don't know all the details, but that's what I've heard. Not to mention that it's just unfair. Yeah, exactly. He says it's unfair after he doesn't have the ability to take a picture of it. Oh, please, don't get me wrong. This is important experiment data. I'll have to examine them really late, well, later on. <laughs> God, I feel kind of icky playing as these guys right now. Like you know, I I, I I appreciate the female form as much as the next guy, but this is a, this is awkward. I've heard that you just made a weird laugh. There's no way you don't have bad intentions. Oh come on, don't leave me out of it. It's unfair. I must see it too. The unison reaches out for the New World goggles I'm wearing. Uh oh, you better turn it off, dude, if you don't want her to know your pervertedness. All oh, right, that's enough for the reward. Whew. Cause then it only takes a few seconds. He turns off the visual rewinding, making Unison go back to her school uniform. The indecent pictures around us also turn back to the normal surface that they were. As I find myself a little disjointed, Awari san whispers into my ear. Work hard on the other half of the experiments. I'll show you even greater new worlds. How do you feel about bikinis? I even have a cat ear cosplay. Whoa. Awari-san is seriously underestimating me. I am not a small enough man to be lured and forced to act because of such a simple pleasure. Yeah, right. I'm taking the bait and I'm doing it proudly. Well, at least you admit what you are. I mean, that's uh, that's to say for other people. I mean, just try imagining Unison in bikini. Just what kind of form would the memory weapons take after being free from the tightness of the school swimsuit? I can't allow myself to end this day without bearing witness to that. In fact, give me the bikini cat ear combo. Oh, there is such an outfit like that. Don't question how I know that. Sad as it might be, seeing my energy and motivations are back like they were never gone. Truly, world program and Unison's memory weapons are things to be feared. All right, I, Midnight, will see this through to the end. Let's move on, Midnight. What the? That's excellent. That's my boy. This is why you're judging Seven's hope. Now, let's start the second half of the experiment. Dance however you want while making a circle around the vicinity. Well, it looks like the experiments are going to keep going on. We've had a little bit of reward for the player as well as ourselves if you're into that thing. But uh, what more will we expect of these goggles? Will suddenly the will suddenly the story plot happen, or will we just have randomness for the first hour of the game? Find out next time in the next episode. The world is ended. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.